The cool story of air conditioning. It's a hot summer day. The humid air makes you uncomfortable and stops you from focusing. So you turn on the air conditioner. In minutes, the air starts to cool down and you feel fresh again. That's the power of air conditioning and even important leaders recognize its value. A former prime minister of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew, once said that air conditioning helped his country succeed. He believed that with it, people who live in tropical areas could work better. People wouldn't be covered in sweat from extreme heat. Air conditioning isn't just about comfort. It helps people be more productive and stay healthy. But what's the history behind these useful air cooling machines? In the 1840s, an American doctor named John Gorey believed that high temperatures could threaten people's health. He created a machine that made ice, which he used to cool hospital rooms for patients. However, Gorey's idea was forgotten for many years because he didn't have enough money to manufacture and market his machine on a larger scale. Today's warm-up quiz is what climate does Singapore have? A. Cold and dry. B. Tropical and humid. C. Rainy and snowy. D. Cool and windy. You have 15 seconds to think about it. Time's up. Welcome, everyone, to English for You. I'm Adam. And I'm Elsie. Oh my gosh, Elsie, it is so hot today. Taiwan's summer is no joke. Tell me about it. The heat and humidity together make it super hard to concentrate, right? Sometimes I feel tired all day. Right, same here. I mean, I honestly don't know how people survive before air conditioning. I can't imagine living without it. Me neither. It's like the most important invention in summer. At home, in class, on the MRT, AC is everywhere and we totally depend on it. Exactly. And actually, that's why I think this article is so cool. Literally. It's called The Cool Story of Air Conditioning. It's all about how AC was invented and how it changed our lives. Sounds interesting, so let's get started. It starts off by saying, It's a hot summer day. The humid air makes you uncomfortable and stops you from focusing. And there, everyone, we see the adjective humid. It is the air as warm and full of moisture. It often feels sticky or uncomfortable. So an example sentence using humid, we could say, It's really humid today. I feel sweaty even when I'm not moving. We also see the noun humidity. It's the amount of moisture, or we could say water vapor, in the air. So an example would be, The humidity is over 80% today which makes the heat feel even worse. 好,我们首先看到的形容词 humid, 它就是闷热潮湿的, 所以这个字呢, 很适合用来形容台湾的气候, 那另外呢, 它的名词形式 humidity, 它是一个湿度, 湿气的意思, 那接下来呢, 我们还看到了 stop somebody or something, from 后面加上VNG的用法, what does it mean? Well, it means to prevent someone or something from doing an action. An example could be, the noise outside stopped me from sleeping. So, Adam, does Taiwan's humidity bother you a lot? Yes, that's for sure. It's like I'm walking through warm soup every time I step outside. <laughs> So, what do most people do when it's that humid? Well, our article says, So, you turn on the air conditioner. In minutes, the air starts to cool down. 
and you feel fresh again. And there we see the phrase "cool something or somebody down," which is to make something or someone become cooler. To lower the temperature, so an example would be a cold drink really helped cool me down after walking in the sun. Cool something or somebody down, 那就是使冷却下来或是使降温。所以啊，我们课文说，如浴室你就会打开冷气，然后几分钟之后空气开始变凉，你又感觉神清气爽。So air conditioners are very very important. Yeah, I even use it at night during the summer, and you get mad at me when I <laughs> sleep with the air conditioner on the whole night because the electricity bill will be really really <laughs> high. Exactly, expensive. But I love the air conditioner, and our article says that's the power of air conditioning. And even important leaders recognize its value. 这就是冷气的威力哈，它是非常的重要的。而且呢，有一些重要的 leaders 领导人，他也肯定冷气的价值哦。So I can live without air conditioning. Yeah, me too. There's no possible way that I could go a summer day in Taiwan without turning on the air conditioning at least once. Now. In our last sentence, everyone, it said important leaders recognize its value. So, what kind of leaders recognize its value? Well, a former prime minister of Singapore, Lee Kuan Yew, once said that air conditioning helped his country succeed. 这边提到的 prime minister 就是首相或是总理。新加坡前总理李光耀曾经说啊，冷气帮助了他的国家的成功。He believed that with it, people who live in tropical areas could work better. And there, everyone, we see the adjective tropical. It describes something related to the hot and humid areas near the equator, like certain climates, plants, or countries. So an example would be: Singapore is a small tropical country in Southeast Asia. 新加坡是东南亚的一个小型热带国家，所以啊 ，tropical 这个形容词就是热带的。那可以用来形容什么呢？比如说名词 climate 气候，或者是 island tropical island， 那就是热带岛屿。还有像是呢 tropical rainforest 热带雨林，好，也是我们常说的。那接下来呢，我们就看到了今天刚刚提到的 warm up quiz。What climate does Singapore have? 新加坡属于哪一种气候？答案就呼之欲出了。A B C D. Which one is the correct answer, Adam? Well, I'm going to go with B. Tropical and humid. 没错，这个李光耀相信呢，有了冷气，住在热带地区的人也可以更有效率的工作。那我们刚才说到，新加坡就是属于一个热带地区的气候，而且呢，它还很 humid， 也就是很潮湿。Yeah, so I guess if you're the prime minister of these kind of countries that live in the tropical area, air conditioning helps a lot. You don't want to sweat at your office all day and sweat walking upstairs and things like that. You will feel terrible, and that's why in our article, everyone, it says people wouldn't be covered in sweat from extreme heat. And there we see the noun sweat. Sweat is the liquid that comes out of your skin when you are hot, nervous, or exercising. It helps cool your body down. An example sentence we would say: After I played basketball in the sun for ten minutes, my shirt was covered in sweat. Also, in that sentence, we see the word extreme, which is an adjective. It means something is very strong, intense, or far beyond normal. It can describe weather, sports, feelings, or actions. An example would be: the heat in the desert can reach extreme temperatures during the day. 好，我们整理一下喽。首先看到的 sweat 在课文当中啊，当名词使用，指的就是汗、汗水。那它也可以当做动词，当做动词的时候解释为流汗。所以当我们说，哎，一个人流很多汗，或者很会流汗。那就可以说 somebody sweats a lot， 或者是 sweat heavily。好，指的就是大量流汗的意思。那另外这个形容词 extreme 指的是极端的或是极度的。所以啊， extreme heat 那就是酷热，哈，极度炎热。
extreme weather 就是极端天气。所以课文说，有了冷气，人们也不会因为酷热而汗流浃背。Continuing, it says air conditioning isn't just about comfort. It helps people be more productive and stay healthy. And there we see the noun comfort. Everyone, it means a state of physical or emotional ease when you feel relaxed, safe, or not in pain. An example would be a soft chair and cool air can really add to your comfort on a hot day. Comfort 在这边呢，当名词使用，指的是舒适或是舒服。所以我们可以说 bring comfort to someone， 那就是带给某人安慰或是舒适的感觉。那还有像是 comfort food， 那就是慰藉食物，好让人吃了之后会觉得很放松、很安心的食物。还有就是啊，我们常说到的舒适圈。好，那我们英文可以说 comfort zone。所以大家现在都鼓励彼此要 step out of one's comfort zone， 那就是走出某人的舒适圈。那另外 ，comfort 还可以是安慰的这个动词，像是呢 ，the mother comforted her crying child， 妈妈安慰正在哭的孩子。那另外还有一个形容词，我们看到的是 productive， 指的是有生产力的或是富有成效的。所以说啊，冷气不只是为了舒适，它还能够提升效率，让人维持健康 ，stay healthy。So we all love the comfort of being in an air conditioner room, but our article says, "But what's the history behind these useful air cooling machines?" 对啊，到底这些有用的冷气机背后有什么样的 history， 有什么样的历史 ？Like how was it invented, right? Well, that's what we're going to find out. It says in the 1840s, an American doctor named John Gorey believed that high temperatures could threaten people's health. And there, everyone, we see the verb threaten, and that is to be a danger to something or possibly cause harm or damage. An example using this word would be rising sea levels threaten many small island countries. Threaten 这个动词是危及或是威胁到 Threaten 后面直接加人的话呢，那就是威胁危及到某人 Threaten one's life, 那就是威胁到某人的生命。那如果是威胁人们的健康，就是课文里面说的 threaten people's health。那在一八四零年代呢，一位名叫 John Gorey 的美国医生，他相信啊，高温可能会危害人们的健康。So Dr. Gorey was concerned that you know this high high heat could really be harmful to his patients. So what did he do, everyone? It says he created a machine that made ice. Which he used to cool hospital rooms for patients. Wow! So he invented a machine that cools hot water and then uses these hot ice to cool patients. However, Gorey's idea was forgotten for many years because he didn't have enough money to manufacture and market his machine on a larger scale. And there, everyone, we see the phrase on a large, small, global, international. Scale, and this phrase means how big or wide something is happening, whether it's local, national, or around the world. An example would be: climate change affects people on a global scale. 啊，所以我们看到的这些形容词，像是刚刚 Adam 提到的 large, small, global, international， 都可以放在这个用法当中。好，我们可以说 on a 或是 an。形容词放上去之后，再接上 scale， 那就是以点点点的规模来发展。那另外呢，还有一个动词是 manufacture， 它是大量制造或是生产。所以啊，我们课文今天最后说到这个 Gorey， 他的想法被遗忘了许多年，因为他没有足够的这个资金来大量生产并推广这台机器。那同学们不想错过更多精彩的 English for You 内容。就赶快订阅我们的 YouTube channel， 还有追踪 Facebook. All right, everyone. Now that brings us to our for you chat question of the day. How do you think people in the past stayed cool before air conditioning was invented? Oh, good question. So before air conditioning was invented, I think people stayed cool by using handheld fans、mm. or staying in the shade. Mm, yeah, they probably also wore light, loose clothing to help them stay cooler. Yeah, I agree. I think people stayed cold or cool by opening windows to、mm. let in, you know, breezes or the breeze in, or even taking 
cold baths. Oh, right. Like you sometimes do. Sometimes I do that. They might have gone to rivers or mountains where actually the water was cooler. I mean, it's really interesting to think about how people found creative ways to beat the heat before technology made it so much easier. I honestly can't imagine summer without air conditioning now. Yeah, we need the AC. So this is Elsie, and I'm Adam, and we'll see you following up with the article to learn more about air conditioning. Vocabulary review. Humid. Mandy was used to Egypt's dry climate, so she couldn't stand Taiwan's humid summer weather. Tropical. Because this is a tropical island, it often rains here and it's very hot. Sweat. It's good to bring a towel to the gym to remove the sweat from your skin after you exercise. Extreme. Mason's extreme fear of heights made him refuse his friend's offer to go rock climbing. Comfort. Sally's new office chair provides her with much more comfort than her old one. Threaten. Forest fires threaten many animals because they burn down trees and take away their homes. 智慧小补帖 Prime Minister. Productive. Manufacture.